it's so difficult to um, to to bring a person alive just by um, using words or you know whether that's verbal or whether it's on paper um, but to be able to show somebody um, a video um, it does it really gives them a sense of that person that individual what a character they are I've, just, I've only just looked at them so if I saw them last year, if they were made for me last year, it would, they would have been very useful and I would have been able to pick up on Izzy's unique qualities very quickly. Um, but they've also been useful in tying all that together for me while, when I've seen them this year, even though I do know Izzy quite well already. They can see what Izzy is like, so then like when they're around Izzy, they'll know her better without even like, like, knowing her so if like someone comes in for the first time with izzy it normally takes them a while to get used to her like the way she acts because she is quite like full-on in the way she acts like obviously because she's very different from other people of her age because of her needs but because of these videos like people have been able to see what she's like and then they'll be able to work better with her and then give her a better outcome for whatever they're giving to us and they can help her achieve something which is more important. Most people d don't know how to deal with someone with special needs. Um, each one of them is a, a complex and individual. And by doing a video, a certain thing with them, uh, personally, I, I think it would be a, a marvellous help for, for people who don't know is he outside the family or outside the school environment. These videos have been fantastic. They're a very quick resource in the fact you can access them and perhaps a description that you could get from a professional that helps to explain how easy communicates. You can see visually in a 30 second video. It's great to see the interaction between Izzy and Mum and how Mum um, works closely with Izzy, gets her attention, distracts for some of the videos and it also shows what motivates Izzy. So before I saw the videos of uh, Izzy, I felt that uh, in terms of our relationship, because as a music therapist, one of the main key things that I'm looking to do is to develop a uh, sort of 50-50 relationship with my client. Um, and I felt that with Izzy, I was struggling before I, I watched the videos in the fact that I was leading the session and I was, I was sort of trying to engage Izzy as best I could, uh, but didn't really feel like I was, I was hitting the mark. And then once I saw the videos, um, I felt much more comfortable, uh, sort of how Selena engaged with Izzy and was able to not, not necessarily adopt her style but understood a little bit more about um, the amount of the effort that I needed to put in in terms of my body language and my, my voice in order to get Izzy to work with me. Um, so now the relationship I would definitely say is 50-50 in that we both lead the session and we're there together in the session. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to share them with family who care about Izzy but don't really know Izzy the way we know her. Um, so I've shared shared the videos with family and they've said that they've learned um, things from the videos. I don't think it would ever have come up in conversation, um, some of the things that I learned from the videos. Um, I don't think I would have thought to ask. Um, so I think it just provided me with extra information and extra sort of context that just never would have kind of come up in a normal family setting or a normal conversation really or if it, if it would have done it would have been um, just coincidental really so I think yeah benefited that way. It's weird to sort of look at it but I think it's important because like for other people to see and like for us to sort of think of that story because that is what we are like as a family and it's important that we know like what <laughs> our story is in a sense but like I was like quite happy by like what my mum was saying about me because it was all quite positive and she was saying like oh I couldn't like do without Ella and I was like do you really mean that <laughs> and then she was like yeah and she started saying it more now I think because like when I said that it sort of like made her think I need to say more of it to Ella at the same time, which is good because I like getting praise. <laughs> Little things that don't 
sound like much um, can make a difference. Um, and if I hadn't shown them those videos, then they wouldn't have known. I feel that the videos will be really useful for those who don't know Izzy very well and um, to uh, learn how she communicates and know her si the signs that she uses on a regular basis. We've got a communication passport um, which is um, all typed up and it's got some photos on it. Um, Izzy's nearly 12 now and she had a first communication passport when she was about four four or five when she first started reception and then I updated it um, a couple of years ago um, when she started with a new teacher um, and I've just updated it again for this coming September and throughout it now I've put links um, so for instance um, in the communication passport, it'll say, um, Izzy's, Izzy's name is Isabel, um, but she wouldn't know who you're talking about. Um, always call her Izzy, and her sign is um, two hands at the side of her face, um, like this. But I actually, I don't obviously show that, it's all written, but now I can put a link of Izzy actually signing her name. The video, in a way, it reiterated stuff that we were doing already with her, with her mum, Selena has already told me, and and we were working on that with Izzy, so that was great. And there's a few little little things in it that gave us gave me more insight into helping Izzy and to um, to communicating that a little bit better with her. I feel that we would learn best um, about Izzy through seeing the videos rather than being told because you do need to experience the situations to know how to deal with them. I think, I think it's really good to get a little insight of, 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 the, of the children that you're working with. I think uh, you, you can read a report but it doesn't really bring that, that child, that, that client to life. Um, I think understanding how they perhaps interact with loved ones, the, sort of the level of their relationship, looking out for the signs of what, like, make, what makes them happy or when they're sad. It, it takes time to do that if you're in a session with them, where if you can have a little bit of a, a, um, a visual insight, it sort of cuts out a little bit of the time element that you might need to understand that child. I think it's just important because it shows everyone who needs to know and who needs to have a look because there's so much diversity and it's never like portrayed like accurately through things like the media and it gives like a family a voice who'll be able to see what we actually truly are about and that like we're not really different from other people but we are but it's not in a bad way that we're still normal people as well. I feel like it, it is it is my, my job to do that really and um, to um, to say this is who she is, she's this amazing child, um, she can do this, she can do that, um, but to to be able to show people the video, it also takes, takes pressure off you as well. 